Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill. When we last left off, well, we uh, had kind of broken new ground, and um, we had left uh, Eileen upstairs. Now, I've obviously got Eileen. Uh, I've gone back to my room, well, our room, and uh, I've jiggled our inventory around, so this is what we've got on us. We had two candles on us, and I've heard that you can use those candles to cure her um so i burnt both of those candles at her feet and yeah the blood disappeared for a while but it came back but then i also heard that that doesn't actually cure her and i've also heard that it does cure her but the effects are temporary i've also heard that if you cure her right before the end of the game it can help some people say that using the medallions sometimes helps her and sometimes it doesn't or at least provides like a basic shield for her basically none of this was ever really explained in the game um i'm assuming that at this point what will be will be um you know so uh, i mean we're gonna get some endings Either way, um, but as you can see, she's really beaten up now. Um, but the frustrating thing is, I mean, she's not acting possessed, at least not so far. Like, if she's if she gets possessed, she apparently starts jibbing out and saying some really weird stuff. Or she'll, like, start turning into a ghost. Um, and then she snaps out of it. She hasn't done anything like that. So... I don't know. Maybe we're going to get lucky. Maybe we're not. But... What's frustrating, though, is... If I want to get the, the better endings... And she's too far gone. I've got to reload like an earlier save and try and go back through the game and not get her as injured. Uh, ugh. Yeah, so I'm, I mean, we'll figure it out, but this bit is a dick because you've got what's his name in here. I oh, know it's the next room that he's in. That's fine. So now we've just got to go back and get the umbilical cord, I think. But... Um, after that, I'm not sure... So yeah, he's in 206. So we've got to like bum rush through 206. And hope that she doesn't take too much damage. I mean, I'm... I'm sure there are actual proper ways of getting through the game fairly easily without getting her injured. But I've I must admit I've looked up a lot of stuff on this game. I still don't know how the game ends, blah 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 blah. But I've looked at so much stuff on like how is best to look after her and there's so much conflicting information. Like nobody seems to actually know one way or another. Which, in my mind, um, speaks volumes uh, about the game's uh, design. See this. Shit like this. Like, he, he's gonna get in our way. Where's Eileen? Like, where's Eileen? I can't, like, where is she? Come on. No, don't attack. Is she with me? She's with me. But she's really kind of beat up. Um, okay. But that's the one thing that I don't understand, though. Like, with, with trying to look after her. Honestly, I, I think you should be able to leave her. As long as you leave her somewhere where there's no enemies. Like, surely that should be okay. But it's not. Oh, we're back 
fucking here. With this shitty acting. Okay. So that's the supers room. We need to get into the supers room. Uh, okay. Right. I want to leave her in here. Okay, so we can't go that way. We can go this way. Now, is she with me? No. See, right, we've left her behind in that room. <sighs> I don't know if that's the right decision to make. Ooh. Something's making a... Ooh, fuck. <laughs> Let's say something's making a bit of noise in here. Oh, right. So they can hit you even though you're nowhere near them. Got ya. Got ya. Alright, well, we got the med pack, so that's something. Okay, well, that's not too bad, I guess. Um, nothing else in here, cool. That's fine, I suppose. Couple of hits to get a fairly decent med pack, I guess it was worth it. Oh, hello. Come on. Come here, you fucking asshole. Is that Walter that's all the way over there? No, I think that's another one of these things. That's pointing at us from bloody miles away. Yeah, I think that's another one. Come over here. Come here, you pansy. You little fucking bitch, come here. Right. That should be you finished. Fuck you. Yeah, that is another one of those, I th think. Oh, that's one of those tougher ones. Alright, well, I kind of like the way they point at you. Like, that's the one semi-cool thing. Oh, there's bullets down here, too. We take them. Can you take two full-powered... Wow, you can. You can take two full-charged-up attacks from the hand axe. These guys are badasses. <sighs> okay, there we go. I mean, we haven't had the ghosts yet, so, I mean, that's something. It's only a bonus in my books. Right, give me that. Yeah, we'll take the pistol bullets. Alright, so, what's through room 102? Oh, a health drink. And we've got a ghost. Oh, God, hello. Hello. Now, let's see if we can down this guy. Because I think, unless I forgot it, yeah, we've still got a sword of obedience. So, if I can, you know what? Smoke him if you fucking got him. Yeah, we'll take the drink. Anything else? Cat wrapped in a pair of jeans. Yeah, that's cool. So it actually Oh, hello. That super here is in wearing trouble. There's something about that guy. I just don't like the look of him. Okay, what the fuck was that about? We're dangling man. Okay. Right, well, we had a weird dangling man. I mean, cool, I suppose. Right, so that ghost ain't going to chase us anymore. So, cool. I guess. We got some more health. Health is always nice. In fact, on that note. Oh, yeah, this is back in the gun room. 
But is there actually anything in here now? Doesn't look like it. Got those weird. Oh, look, so. What's that about? I guess. More handgun bullets, I mean. Yeah, I suppose. Um, okay. Anything in there? No. Alright. So we've only actually encountered one ghost so far. Uh, and we pinned the fucker down, so I'm vaguely happy about that, I guess. Right, um, onwards. Oh, come on, can't see you. There's that hanging dude again. Oh, shit. Shit. Need to use the invincibility frames. Come on. Come on. Those invincibility frames are really useful. In fact, that's kind of saving our ass right now. Look at the range they have. Okay, come on. You've got to be down. Yeah, you're down. Cool, that'd do, that'd do. Can you imagine if we took Eileen in here? She'd get roasted. I'm not the good kind of roasted. Right, so what are you gonna say? Yeah, that's fine, who are you? Why are you dangling around? Giving me tiny little tidbits of information. Uh, Okay, so we've got another health drink. That's cool. Hang on. Have I seen... Ah, oh, shit. I don't know if I've seen that. Hanging dude. Like, do we have to, like, collect them all or something? Uh, right. So that's all of this done, anyway. I'm trying to think if I've seen him. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. I don't know who that guy is. Oh, Eileen. It's terrible. That poor little boy. The fuck is that? Sure. I don't know how you can help him, but okay. Right, uh let's have a look at that room. I mean that was cool. We actually got like a little bit of story there. Oh, shut up, kid. Jesus. There are two chains in the way. I can't open the door. Didn't it say there were more chains in the way before? Two chains in the way. Um, we can't do anything with the keys. Alright, that's the other way. Okay, so... Actually, I suppose we can have, like, Eileen with us now. Yeah, she's with us. 
So I don't think there's any more enemies around. What was in this room? Is there like anything in this room at all? There's sweet FA in here. Nothing in here. Two chains in the way. I mean... Oh. Anything in here? There's loads of blood everywhere. So, what are we missing then? Chains in the way. There's fuck all in here. Two chains in the way. I'm sure I've seen that hanging dude. One other place. But where? Um... There's nothing behind there. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he was in... Um... I don't want to leave her alone anymore. I'm sure he was in uh, one of those cages in one of these rooms, but I can't remember which bloody room he was in. I'm sure it was. 207, maybe? Oh. Yeah, this is Richard's room. I don't think he was in here. It might have been one of the... Um, might have been one of the uh, rooms, like, near the beginning, right at the top. I really hope not. Do we have to backtrack? I don't want to take Eileen back into a room where she can get injured. Uh, you know, that, like, hanging guy. Um, 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 I mean, like, yeah, because if we go back into 206, we're on 17 minutes. Uh, maybe there's another one on cold. Uh oh. I think we've lost her. I think she's possessed, but. If she's possessed, we can still get two of the endings. Ah, oh, no, because... Yeah, no, I don't know. Uh, I think we can get two of the endings, I'm not sure. 205. Let's go back in here. There's no, like, hanging dude up here, is there? No. Where have I seen that guy? I'm pretty sure when she mentions that she's cold, um, that's something to do with her being fucked up. Oh, there we go. Told you we shouldn't have a baby, didn't I? Oh. Is that her baby? Uh, is that... Yeah, I thought I saw him in her cage. Right, now, for... Let's go see. Is there now only one chain left? There's only one chain left. We know what we've got to do. <sighs> Can't 
can't open the door because of this crazy chain. Yeah, there's only one chain left, so you have to find all of those guys. Okay, that's fine, but where are... Have we left her behind? I guess we have. Come on. Yeah, I'm sure when she's mentioning that she's cold, that's one of the uh, indicators that she's fucked. And I mean proper fucked. So, where... Haven't we heard or seen one of these guys? Oh, well, that's nice and convenient, I guess. So I guess, okay. Oh, so they were all on this floor. I mean, that's cool, I suppose. Right. Now let's go and see the super in, super in, superintendent superintendent's room. Uh, how much health do we have? Not a lot. Swig that down. Okay, so we should be able to get into there now and get the umbilical cord. But after that, I don't know what we do. I'm hoping there's not going to be like many enemies in here. Because if there is, we're fucked. There it is. It's the cause of all of our fucking problems. Any right, before we grab that, because I don't know if that's going to be like a point of no return. Is there anything else in this room? That's a health drink. That's cool, I guess. Alright. Now, let's grab this bad boy. Let's see what happens. Yum yum. Right. That is a good thing. That cutscene that just happened there bodes well for our ending. Because I read um, that, that if you know that you're proper fucked, there's an event that comes up, a cutscene, where... You either get comforted by her, or she punches you, or like hits you or something. Um, and I didn't read the context of the cutscene, because I didn't want any spoilers. But I'm going to assume that that was that. She didn't seem possessed or nutty in that cutscene, because I think there's three different... Uh, reactions you can get from her. One where she's quite injured, one where she's... Um, like nuts and like punches you and, and one where she's a little bit in between and I don't know if that was like the in between or the good one but as long as she doesn't like be aggressive with you that's good so yeah like I say I'm not an expert 
I I have only skimmed over this stuff because I don't want spoilers, but I think we still have a chance of getting the good ending. Okay, so now we've got the umbilical cord. So where do we go? Do we go back to our room now? What the fuck is that? What is this? I don't fucking know. This woman, is this Eileen? Yes. Superintendent's room. I guess we're going back to our room. Pass. Well, at least we don't have Eileen now, so... I mean, whatever, what will be with her will be. I don't... Like, is there going to be more enemies? Oh! I guess so. Okay. Yeah, so let's go back. Oh. They're the wall guys. Kinda don't want to fight the wall guys. If we can help it. He's not in here anymore. So that's cool. Right, here we go. Definitely gonna take advantage of these invincibility frames. Nice. Nice. Come on. Okay. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Come on. Shit. Right, that's fine. That's one down. One down. Come on, you bastard. Boom! Right in the kisser. Come on, squish. Ah, oh, come on. Come to daddy, you son of a fucking bitch. Right, hopefully that was enough. Right, you're dead. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Is that enough? Especially with the... Camera angle, like, not being able to, like keep up with these guys. Shit. Don't die now. Come on. Right, we've got... Got some health. Right, there he is. Okay. Oh, I actually totally forgot about the dodge buttons, if I'm being honest. Like, oh man, the camera angles are awful. Like, even in Resident Evil, I mean, they were bad, but they weren't bad to this extent. Um, okay. Let's use that. Why not? There's going to be enemies everywhere now, isn't there? Maybe. 
Maybe. Right, let's go back through 203. Hopefully we can save the game again as well. Before the shit goes south. Oh, I actually thought there was going to be an enemy around here. Okay, we got lucky. We lucked out there, guys. Nothing in here? Actually pleasantly surprised about that. <sighs> no ghosts either. Like, or at least not many. I'm assuming... Um, but that's because we've pinned most of them. Again, that's just an assumption. Maybe because we're in the real world, there just isn't any ghosts left. I'm not sure, but... I guess in this late hour... It doesn't actually matter. We're in half an hour again. Okay, well, I guess we're going to get back and save it and call it there. Alright, well, I mean, there was more enemies, but there weren't that many enemies. I'm going to assume that we're going to go for the boss fight now. I think that's a fairly logical assumption. Oh, shit. Okay. Just not 100% sure where... Oh, come on, there's so many of these things. I'm just not 100% sure where this boss would be. Ah, oh, cock. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Come on. Boom! They call me the Axe Man. Come on, you bastards. Fuck you. Just boom! Right in the face. They don't like it in the face. She don't like it in the face, boys. Boom! All oh, right in the back. We carved its spine in half. So it tried to run. I like it. Right, stab it. Stab it. I think we stabbed it. Not 100% sure. I don't know what Harry's doing or Henry's doing here. Try not to ask questions when it comes to Henry because he doesn't know what he's doing half the time anyway. Oh, come on. If we die here, I'm going to be pissed. I mean, like, proper pissed. Fuck. Either this axe is kind of weak, or... These guys are tough. I think these guys are tough. At least they're tough when there's numbers. They're in numbers, which makes sense. Ah, okay. Why does sometimes do they why do they take two stamps and other times they don't? You know what? I don't know. I don't know why I care. I don't really care. Alright. Fuck off, kid. Little prick. <sighs> Ooh. Right, what we're gonna do here as well, we're gonna save it before we purify the room. So I can't remember how many times we've purified the room, but you have to purify the room. Um, you have to cure like 80%. Of all the weird shit that happens. So just going on the law of percentages. Actually, we've got a lot of health. Going on the law of percentages... If we only, like, how many times have we cured the room? Six times? Or is it five times? Is this like... Because if we cured it ten times, we'd only have to cure... We'd only have to leave two to fail. I don't know how many times we've cured the room, but hopefully if we just, like, don't cure this one... Yes, you can. Hopefully, just not curing this one will be enough. We didn't need the apartment keys, either. But, yeah, we've actually come out of this with a lot of health. Right, he's retreating. Anything under the door? No. Um, so, yeah, I'm guessing boss fight now. Didn't need the... 
I guess we don't need that. Uh, what would we take? Health, I guess. Should we take the handgun? Why not? Uh, not the handgun, the other one. The... Revolver. I guess we need the umbilical cord. I don't know how much health an ampule heals. Uh, one would assume a lot. <clears throat> um... Yeah, so let's go with the revolver. Wherever it is. There. That leaves us three slots. Gives us six, twelve, eighteen bullets. Because we've read that we need to stab spears into this guy. But we need eight spears, it said, didn't it? Uh, or should we just take all of the revolver bullets? Take all of the revolver bullets. That gives us 30 rounds. Hmm. Right, anyway guys, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, when we come back... <clears throat> Uh, I assume we're going to go fight the final boss, although I don't know where the final boss is, uh, but uh, we'll figure it out. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and uh, hmm, still not sure what ending we're going to get. Fingers crossed we're going to get the best ending. If we get the best ending, getting the worst endings um, <clears throat> are going to get easier. You know. Hmm. I can't remember when we last had a haunting. Because I think we're going to have to at least leave two hauntings. Hmm. But we've also got to get Eileen, like, really beaten up. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. No, you don't. I'm being an idiot. I d yeah, no, you do, don't you? Because... I think once we get whatever ending we're going to get, I'll look up how to get the others. I think that's the best way to, to do it. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.